Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I will buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Now in today's episode of What Sold This Week, I have seven items to show you. I've been scouring the op shops and searching Facebook Marketplace and I've come up with a few really good options. So the idea of this is to really show you guys what does sell out there and hopefully you can take some ideas and find your own items to make a really good profit on. Um, I'm gonna get straight into it today. Item number one's just about to come up, so let's get started. I'm gonna kick things off today with an item that I found in an op shop. It's an item that I wouldn't normally buy or even search for, but I did spy this on the way out. And uh, I thought there was certainly a few more dollars than the $5 that the op shop had listed this one at. Uh, so I bought it, I did some uh, comp searching on eBay, and I've ended up pricing this one for $50. It was a jewelry cabinet, and yeah, absolutely, not something that I would normally find and, and list, but um, I went ahead and I went with it and I tried something a bit different, and it paid off. Somebody within two days bought this one on Facebook Marketplace for the full $50. So I was really happy to make a $45 profit on this one in a very short space of time. It just really goes to show that you should look for items that you wouldn't necessarily normally buy because there is money to be made in every category. And I think the best resellers will be the ones that look for the areas that they're not really, I guess, known to searching for and finding items in and just trying something different. You just never know. I'm certainly now on the lookout for jewelry cabinets and I wasn't before. So maybe try one item a week and, and just see how you go with building your different niche categories. Uh, it'll go a long way to finding a few extra dollars each week. So I found this one, it was $5, sold it for $45. I was really happy with that. So guys, be on the lookout for jewelry cabinets. The second item I've got for you today is an item a little bit more up my alley. It was an item in the same op shop. I was going through the shorts and the t-shirts as I always do. Uh, and I stumbled across these, which is, to be honest, probably my favorite clothing brand, um, RVCA or Rivka or Ruka. A lot of people call them a different name, but as soon as I saw these, I almost wanted to buy them just for myself. They were priced at $3, and I was shocked because these are an awesome brand and an awesome quality uh, of basically a surf brand. Um, so I wear this all the time. I know the true value. Uh, these shorts that I bought for $3, I knew they were gonna be worth at least $80 retail. Um, I've listed them for $30 for a quick sale on Facebook Marketplace. And within, again, two days, I was able to sell these off for a $27 profit. If you can find Rivka, if you can find really good surf brands in general uh, in the shorts area, I still think there's a few good dollars to be made in there. Uh, as soon as I spied these, I knew it was gonna be a quick win. It certainly was uh, $27 for a pair of shorts within the space of two days. So great item number two. Item number three that I've got for you is a three drawer Hampton style cabinet. Now, when I play with furniture, the Hampton style look is the ultimate winner. If you can find an all white look, for me, everyone is just in demand. That's just what I'm, I'm seeing at the moment. Everyone just wants to get their hands on these white pieces of furniture. The Hampton style look, it's just what they want. So I found this one, it was a refurb. Somebody had touched up with a, to be fair, a really bad paint job. Um, I, didn't, I, I didn't do anything to it, I didn't try to refurb it myself. I just left it as is. I, I knew that buying it for $30 was a really low price because these Hampton style furniture pieces I've sold for a whole lot more previously. Um, I've listed this one for, I think I added originally for $165 and it didn't move. I think in the end, this was on Facebook Marketplace, I think at the end of the day, I had 2,000 views, 60 saves, and 10 shares on Facebook Marketplace for this item in the space of nine days. But for some reason, I couldn't sell it. It was just, for me, I realized that the market said that it was just too high a price. It wasn't worth 165. I dropped it to 145. It didn't sell. I dropped it to 125. It didn't sell. There was just no nibbles. I had two people message me and they said they would offer me 80 and 100. And I knew that, you know, yes, there is good profit there, but I really thought that this one was going to be well over $100. In the end, I've sold it for $100. So the second person that inquired saying they'd buy it for 100, I said, yep, sure, no worries. I'm still really happy about this though because I paid $30. I've made $70 profit. Yes, it took nine days, which is a little bit longer than I like to try and move things. But look, nine days is still quite a short period of time for a sales cycle and I was able to make $70. I didn't do anything to this item. I just bought it as is, relisted on Marketplace, made $70. It is a great result. 
I just probably had it in my head that there was going to be a few more dollars to it. So I've really got to kind of look at the numbers and think that a 70% profit and $70 in my pocket is a great result because it is. So item number three, really good piece of furniture, the Hampton style look, keep an eye out. They always profit well. All right, the next item that I've got for you guys is another piece of furniture. And it just goes to show that when you got, buy an item on Facebook Marketplace, the good ones are always listed within the first five minutes to 30 minutes. If you don't find it in the first 30 minutes, you've generally lost the item. So I found this piece within about 15 minutes of it being listed. It was a small children's dresser table. It had the lovely heart shape, it had the desk, it had the chair, it had a couple of drawers for storage. It was a really nice piece, but the lady was listing it for free. She said free for the first person that wants to pick it up. Obviously, I was trying my heart out to, to get in there and be the first one, and luckily enough, I was. The only catch to this one was the, the leg, the back right leg was faulty. It was just basically a screw loose and it was really flimsy and it needed a bit of a touch up. She wasn't a handyman herself and she knew that somebody that was would get a really good dresser table if they put the half a second piece of work the work into it to, to fix it up. And sure enough, I bought this one. I went, and, I went and picked it up. It was only about 20 minutes from home. I took it home and I put an extra screw in. It tightened it up really, really well. From there, it was a really good piece. There was no extra damage or, or any any other issues to it. It was a it was a perfect piece of furniture. So I thought I'd list this one for eighty five dollars and see how I went. I was inundated. Clearly, I'd listed this one for far too low of a price because the demand for it was just so high. So I know that I could have got a few more dollars, but I sold it to the first person that got in first in first served. This sold in the very first day that I listed it. So a same day sale. Um, it was free and it was sold for $85, could have been more. But please guys, when you're on the lookout for furniture, if you find the kids dresser tables, the stories that I was getting from the mums that were messaging me saying they really need this piece for their kid, um, it, was, it, it opened my eyes actually. So I'll be on the lookout for the dresser tables now in the kids range because they are in high demand, certainly in my area. Um, but $85 for this piece of furniture, I was really, really happy. The next item I've got for you is an item that I bought, another piece of furniture actually. Uh, it was a, a timber coffee table. She'd listed it for just $20. Again, it was within the first hour on Facebook Marketplace. I was able to grab it um, at a really good price. But when I went and picked it up, I realized that it was a pretty poor quality, not quality, but a, a pretty poor condition, I should say, uh, timber coffee table. There was a lot of chips and marks and paint and scratching and it wasn't in its best condition by any means and no wonder she was listing it for $20. Any piece of furniture that I've bought in the past has almost been ready to sell. This was certainly not the case. But what I thought is it was a really good quality timber. It was really well made. It had some really unique handles on it. In the, my past videos, I've spoken with furniture about finding unique pieces to the furniture item that you're thinking of buying. And it was the handles on this piece. As much as it was great quality timber, it was the handles that really caught my eye. And really, that's all it takes for somebody to gain interest in your item. So for $20, I thought there was some potential in it. I didn't want to do any refurbing on this one. I just wanted to move it quickly. And I thought that even with the damage and the marks on it, I could still move it for a profit. So I picked this one up and I relisted it within the space of a week. And I was able to sell it. Oh, sorry, I relisted it within the space of a couple of days. And I was able to sell it within the space of two days. So this one sold for my listing price of $60. I made a $40 profit within the space of two days. I didn't do anything to it. it. In my eyes, was a really poor piece of furniture. I, I thought it was in better condition before I bought it, but I've still been able to make $40. The reason why I was able to make that $40 was when the lady came and picked it up, she said that she was a furniture refurber. So her job was to find really good pieces of furniture with really quality timber and obviously do them up just as I would normally do. Um, so she took the interest in, in the good quality piece of furniture that I had. Even though it had some issues to it, she was going to fix it up. She was happy to pay the $60 and I was happy to take the $40 profit. So really for that one, it just goes to show that with furniture items, yes, if you do find a really quality piece that doesn't need any touch up, great. But there is also still potential if you can find a really good quality piece of furniture that may still have a few marks and dents and scratches on it. You can still get some money, but it all comes down to the price that you purchased the item at. You make your money on the buy. It's really, really crucial. If this item was $50, I wouldn't have bought it, but it was $20 and I knew that I could make at least double my money. The 50-50 strategy came in and it proved to be correct. I actually three times my money and made a $40 profit. 
The next item I've got for you guys is a ASICS pair of shoes. It was an ASICS GT2170 pair of men's running shoes. Now, these shoes were in really good condition. They came from my favorite op shop here on the Gold Coast. Uh, they always come through with the goods every single week. I seem to buy a product at a very low price and sell it for a very good profit. Um, these ASICs were in really good condition and you know that they retail for around $260. Um, I, yes, there were a couple of different marks and, and scratches and, and dirt on them, but I cleaned them up. I listed them for just $30. I know that I could probably make more, well, definitely make more on eBay, um, but I sold these for $30. I made a $27 profit. They sold in the same week that I bought them. They moved very, very quickly. I know that I could probably touch them up to $40 to $50, but at the moment, I'm really just happy with the high turnover. So pair of ASICs, I think they were a size 10, um, so really good quality um, size, I guess, or, or common size that people are always after. Um, so $27 for a pair of shoes. They seem to just be on the regular at the moment, which is really, really good. Just always adds to your profit when you can grow and buy a couple of pairs of really quality shoes. Um, so yeah, $27 for a pair of ASICs, pretty good result. The next item I have for you is another piece of furniture. This uh, piece of furniture cost me $25. It was an IKEA Hemneys coffee table. Now the Hemneys brand of IKEA furniture is very, very popular. I've, I've come to realize that anything that's Hemneys, and there are a lot um, from the IKEA range, sell really well. Um, they always go for around one to $300 uh, in the shops if you buy them brand new on retail, depending on obviously the furniture type. Um, I bought this for just $25. It was untouched, unused, immaculate condition. I thought that I'd make some really good money and I listed it for $120. I was wrong. It wasn't worth $120 and no one spoke to me about this item for eight days. It was well over a week before somebody gained some interest and said that they would buy it, but I had dropped the price down to just $55 to make the sale. So at the end of the day, I've just made the $30 on this one, $30 profit, so again, a great result. But um, the Hemneys coffee table, this one retailed for around, I would say about 150. It was a smaller size to the one that the Ikea currently sell. Um, it, the, the bigger version sold for $200. So I knew this one was probably worth about 150. That's why I listed it at 120. But the market said that nobody wanted to buy it at, at 120. So I had to drop my price to 55 to make the sale. But I've made $30, it was a good result. The Ikea range, it will be one that I'll continue to buy because I know that people do look for it because it is just a quality piece of furniture. So guys, if I take you through my week of sales, it's been a pretty good week. I've certainly upped the ante and I've gone out to op shops a few more times this week and I've um, obviously scoured Facebook Marketplace a fair bit more as well. So I'm investing more time in and I'm trying to just get a bigger return as a result. So these are the numbers for this week. I've been able to sell 21 items, which is certainly an increase in how many items I usually sell on a week to week basis. My cost of goods for the 21 items that I sold worked out to be $140. My total sales for the week was $670 in sales, which gave me a profit of $530. So the profit margin was quite high this week. It was 79%. Obviously the dresser table there at $85 that I spoke of earlier, I got that for free. So, you know, those sorts of, you know, free purchases, it's it's 100% profit. So that's obviously boosts your, your percentage there for the week. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with 670. I really think for me, I would love to double those numbers. So I'm at a point now where I think I'm halfway there to being a full-time reseller. If I could get 670 into $1,200 worth of sales and profit to about $1,000, I think that I could really jump into this full-time. So I'm gonna be doing the best I can to source more items in future weeks, make bigger sales and make bigger profit margins. Um, and hopefully I can hit that $1,000. It's a real goal for mine, and I think it should be a goal for anyone out there. Um, so hopefully I can do the 1,000. Hopefully you can too. Uh, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a like and a subscribe. Um, I'm doing the two videos every single week. I've changed things up recently as well. Um, hopefully you guys have tuned into my A Day in the Life video that I put out on Thursday. It was certainly a pretty cool experience to bring the camera out and give you a bit of an insight into what a full-time reseller would look like from a, a full day perspective. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm going to continue to do it. Um, I, I, I'm happy to do the educational videos. Let me know if there's any educational videos you would like to see um, from reselling. If you're brand new to this uh, episode and, and to this channel, please give this one a subscribe. We're up to about 145 subscribers and, and it's growing each day. So I'm, I'm really excited by that. The feedback that I'm getting in the comments as well is really nice. I'm, I'm enjoying all your comments that you're putting in the comments below. 
I'm pretty much replying to you straight away because I get a real kick out of every single comment that uh, is received. So please give me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are, good, bad, or ugly. It'd be great to hear about your stories as a reseller. What did you sell this week that uh, made a really good profit? Put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Um, but that's about, about it for this week, guys. It's been a pretty good week of sales. I look forward to catching you in the next episode. Uh, a Day in the Life will come out next Thursday, so hang out for that. But uh, have a great week, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I will catch you on the other side. Cheers.